Hey YouTube. All right, I'm just sitting here at the Quick Trip on Barclay Road, next to Boston Market, and my block starts at five, from five to eight, and then from nine to eleven thirty. You know, I just had someone just pulled up in his big ass so tow hole, Uber driver or Lyft, I don't know, and had these drunk ass crackers come getting out the car, come banging my door, and then they ain't gonna say nothing. I said, excuse me, you just banged my door, asshole. You know, they're going to come back with, with, with three, four cases of beer. You know, I was like, well, it ain't, no, ain't nothing happened. Yeah, hmm. I said, look at this, it's got a scratch on my door. You know, it may not have been nothing happened, but you're going to just open the door. I mean, first of all, the driver's a fucking idiot. You're going to drive up, up, up on the car. If anything, that big ass truck is not gonna fit in this little parking spot. How the hell are you gonna just swing and then you know I'm just not in the fucking mood today over no bullshit. I'm sick of these damn ass stupid people. See, and then I was debating not that I was really thinking about it, to be honest with you, Uber gonna send me a um a promotion, do eight rides, you get extra sixty dollars. I'm not going a goddamn place because number one, knowing them, they probably program it where you're going to send me in some congested area where I probably won't even get eight rides. Now, yes, it's supposed to start with front. It started yesterday from Friday, four o'clock to three in the morning or four in the morning. And then, you know, from 4 p.m. to three or four in the morning, Saturday and then Sunday. Man, please. Shoot. Then you tell them about it don't count if you do destination rides. And surely, and then I don't even think it includes Uber Eats. But I'm going to see. I'm going to do Uber Eats. But sh I'm going to tell you, I did one Uber Eat order. I got $7. I didn't even deliver the food. I just threw that food in the garbage um, a few minutes ago. I got all, you know... Because I was supposed to be doing, I did Grubhub. And both of us on La Vista Road, I took one order, picked up at the um, Longhorn. Then the other one was that La Vista, some Mexican place, I don't know. I didn't even look Mexican, it's a bunch of white people be, um, making the food. And I was like, it don't look good to me, I don't know. La Vista, I don't know how that place becomes so popular, it just looks so nasty to me. But, <laughs> you want to order food? <laughs> Ain't my problem. So anyway, so I picked up the other order for Grubhub, and this was going to the Cab Medical Center. It had to go up to the fourth floor, find room, something. Then the person got the nerve to put down no cash tip. So I said, you know what? I'm going to deliver it, you know? And then I got the um, Uber Eats order for Longhorn. Now, you know people don't tip. So, I said, okay, I got two orders, not one going to tip. So, I ain't going to worry about it. I picked up the one for Grubhub. That was like five miles from the La Vista. So, I said, okay, it's $3, maybe about a $1.75, $1.50 for mileage or whatever. So, I got to the room. There's some young girl sitting up in the hospital room. I said, well, what's wrong with you? You know, I asked her, what's wrong? What happened to you? Well, I was just throwing up. I said, okay. I said, well, um, here you go. Here's your food. I said, um, you know me. You indicate here the cash tip. Oh, I paid through the app. No, ma'am. I said, you, no, you didn't pay through the app. You paid for your order through the app, but you didn't leave the tip on the app. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't got no change. I said, Psh. you know, I let her reach in her pocketbook. And you gonna give me something? I don't care. It was a dollar, so she gave me like a dollar fifty. Cause I was like, first of all, when I showed up at the hospital, you have to pay for parking. So I parked right there in the front. You know, a little bit away from the um, emergency lane. So I had to literally rush upstairs, rush back downstairs, and hurry up. Now, luckily for me, it was Saturday. 
So usually the cops and you know the um, nobody's around to put no boots or tickets on your car. So I hurry up, got that delivered, went to the other place on Phipps Plaza, and some leasing office. Uber Eats called me twice. They want to know the estimate time. I said I'm on my way. They keep calling me. Call. I didn't answer. You're not going to knock me out the GPS. So when I finally answered, I told him, I said, it's going to be 15 minutes. No, 15 minutes or whatever. So I'm driving. I got. I get there. I look at the app. I said, well, god dang. I saw that it was like $7.09. And then they locked me off the app. So I drove all the way over there for it to be canceled. Now, luckily for me, I still got paid for that order. I got paid from the time that the person must have canceled in the middle of the delivery. So I said, hmm, whatever. So I just threw that food away. It was a steak, a, a potato, and some dried up salad. So I threw it away. And then the other order I had for Grubhub it was on Moreland Avenue. So I indicated I was going to be late. So I'm driving the opposite way. And I was like, oh, Jesus. I said, by the time I get back to pick up that second order at the tequila, whatever, never did confirm the order. So I had to, you know, I had to reassign it to someone else because my block was about to be over. And at that point, it was I was in a very congested area so I said okay all right well I got all day to still get the guarantee so I said okay well that's one order I didn't do so as long as you pick up 75% of your rides you pretty much will get the $10 per hour guarantee so hopefully I would get some big orders, some very good tips from people because, let me see, if it's a football game, so I guess maybe a lot of people will be ordering pizzas. I don't know. They either, it just depends on where you're at. So I'm trying to stay in this North Drew Hills areas and not go too far because, number one, you know, I know it's a residential area. And people tend to either going to order from this Boston Market right up here, here or they're going to order from Bombay Cafe, or they're going to order from Tropical Smoothie. So I'm right in the heart of deliveries, food deliveries. Or I may have to go to Brookhaven, which is not too far. So I don't know. It just depends where people, how many people are out. But I guess on the weekends, there's a lot of people who... Are out there doing deliveries and hopefully I won't be having to go downtown I'm not trying to go downtown I'm not trying to go through all that so hopefully that area is covered and I could pretty much stay in Buckhead Brookhaven North Drew Hills Emory that's it and make my way back on home at 1130 all right I'll just talk to y'all later bye